Yo, what is happening, little lizards? It's your boy Lemon Raptor Patrick back at it again, and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. So, um, I did do a lot of work off camera, like like I said I wasn't going to do. I'm not gonna be doing anything off camera. Well, I say that now, and then I probably will end up doing it. Um, I decided that, that I was going to get all the stuff that I needed to build my new base. Thanks to one of these guys that actually commented this, that way when I get to this place, I didn't have to worry about scanning all this. Uh, Alright, headphones, you can just cut out. So, thank you to CPT, and I will put all you guys on lockers, but for now I gotta worry about getting to the base first. So he said, Lemon, build your base on the island and have it dive into the ocean. Have it as a bounce point for when you need to go into the Grand Reef. And I like that idea. So obviously, um, I put a beacon there, that way I knew where it was. Not to mention, I have farmed up everything I need now to build a mobile vehicle bay and the sea moth. So I get to actually use one. Um, I did a lot of farming. I had to do it. Um, first of all, let me use this report. Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate Rip. Signal location up. Alright. So in here I've had this all tucked away. Um what did I need real quick for this? Just to make sure. Titanium ingot and lubricant and a power cell. And I did make extra stuff to be able to build everything I need for the base. Um I did make enough titanium, enough lubricant, and all that stuff to make two bioreactors, enough to make a multi-purpose room and a scanner room and all that good stuff. I will have to make two trips though, so yeah, that's there's that. I needed two of those, two of these probably. Um I do knew I needed all that. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and make this, uh, mobile vehicle bay. Yeah, I did do this in the last episode I made, however, I just cut it out because I really got tired of editing it, and it was going on long enough anyway. So, yeah. That video was crazy. And, let's go ahead and deploy you. There we go. Oh, yeah. Sea moth, I missed ya. Build it, please, boys. That'd be great. The sea moth is a fast, safe mode of transport. But oh yeah, this is gonna hit this. Ow! I just got it. It's already hitting crap. Oh, I missed ya, my good old buddy. All right. So now that we've done that, I'm actually going to save it because I have it now. And now what we're going to be doing is I did manage to harvest all the things that I needed to take over. I'm going to probably have to make two trips for this. Um, I have everything synchronized in order to be able to go to the base and then some. So I'm going to just take all this crap that I'm going to need. Um, I need my builder tool. Uh, how much battery do I have on you? 96%. Okay. So, I remember I needed two bi uh, bioreactors. I have m two ingredients for this. Um, I'm going to need a multi-purpose room, which I think I put... Yeah, I put all the titanium over here. I need to take this stuff as well. Um, yeah, take all that extra with me. Um, probably take this two lead and some quartz along the way. Um, do I have everything I need for the fabricator as well? No, I need that gold. I mean, why wouldn't I? Alright, well, grab trap. you can stay here for now. Uh, I think it was one and a piece of table coral, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, alright, there we go. Uh, alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get that done, and we're gonna come back to get the rest of the stuff that I'm gonna need. Alright, um, where are you? Where are you at, Island? I put a beacon to you. Oh, there you are. Oh, no, let's see. Let's, what? Where is it? Oh, it's right there. I found it. Jeez. I was wondering where the heck I put it. Alright. Ah, right. uh, hello, Mr. Floating Island. Alright, I was gonna build my base, like, right here. Yeah, actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. First of all, it's nighttime, and I can't see crap. Um, need to build a foundation. Um. How is this gonna work? Can I just build it, like, right here? Will, will that be, will that be too much to ask, Subnautica? Maybe? I mean, it'll work, like, right there. Alright, yeah, this isn't going to work as I had planned. So what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to do this, uh, maybe. I guess you're going right there, buddy. Which is fine. 
I think this will work actually. Yeah, it will. Okay. So the problem with this part, this thing, or right here, with the water like that, is that the multi, it'll go into the the room. Oh crap. Oh yeah, I have enough to do this. Okay. It may be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize. Thanks, dude. No. Uh, rotate. There we go. A reliable power source is a critical step towards and efficiency. Consider hey, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this real quick. Oh, I'm just sorry. I have this going. Okay. So now I need to make my fabricator. Um, where should I put it? Right here will be good. I'm actually kind of glad I did this off camera. A lot of this stuff. That way we can get right into the chase. Okay, so I have glass now. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Oh, uh, I only have enough to make one new. All right, let's go ahead and save this one more time. How much do I need for one of these? I need another piece. All right, I need to build. Oh, I don't even have enough titanium. Well, ain't that nice? Cause I can't get any of the things that I want done. All right. Well, I have that all that, so I might as well take. Wait, what don't I have in my inventory? Oh, all right. Well, I guess we're taking. Uh, we're making a locker right now, then, fellers. It's gonna be great. Welcome, Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, and then I'll give this a uh, Captain Gamer for that. Oh, uh, great idea. Sadly, it didn't go the way I wanted it to. Um, I have more names. Um, I will do that once I have everything else going that I need. Thank you. And you'll hold all this extra crap that I need to hold for now. Thank you. And you'll hold that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and save. And we gotta go back to the to the life pod. And I'll see you when I get there and get back. Well, I might as well read the other names actually real quick. Oh, uh, while I'm while I'm doing this. Okay. So, uh, to Pixie Raptor 342, I think you that you doing not doing anything offline is not the best idea. At least try to do the farming. Farming is boring. Tbh. And yeah, I do appreciate that um, tip. Yeah, it honestly actually benefits me a little bit more. And the next uh, locker goes out to Kayla Davis, and it says the Mountain Rex can contain the shield upgrade for the Cyclops, and it can be helpful for your journey along the way. Which I never knew that the Mountain Rex actually could contain that. Um, I was going down because I did know there was a wreck in the mountain biome before. However, I never went down there and I couldn't really go down there without the Seamoth. And I probably want to get the Cyclops before I end up doing that. Because the Reaper, I don't want to lose this already. And the Reaper can grab onto it. So, yeah. I, I think it would be a better idea to go get the Cyclops before I actually head down to that wreck anyway. Because otherwise it's basically useless. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Huh. Vital signs. That's interesting. I, I didn't, okay, I knew this took place in a uh, different galaxy. I didn't know it took place in the Andromeda galaxy, though. That's pretty cool. Um, though, we'll probably never be able to get to it in real life. If I do, it won't be in my lifetime. Welcome aboard, Captain. Think about it, I'm 17 in four days, so I mean, yeah. So I'm gonna talk to you guys when I get back to the island. I mean, this is about as good as we're gonna get with this, though, sadly. I wish I could do it better. But yeah. Okay. So now that we have all that, I'm back here. I'm gonna save it one more time. That way, in case I lag out or your game crashes or something, I'm here. Alrighty then. So I need to make glass. A lot of it. It's amazing how much quartz this crap takes, though. It takes a lot. I think I only have enough to make five. Yeah. Alright. Um. Now that that's there, I'm going to exit the base real quick, considering that you really can't do it from there. And I have just enough titanium.
There we go. Alright, now that, that we got that. Thanks, Shathid. I appreciate that. Alright. Um, I think, I, yeah, I need a three titanium for that. So we're going to make our second bioreactor. That's always good to have two. No. Come back. No. There we go. Man. Alright. We got that now. Um, I need more titanium on the other hand. Alright, um, CBT, you got anything? You got four glass. Okay, that's not what I needed at this time, but actually I might be able to do something with that. Um, alright. So, I'm gonna give myself a bird's eye view of the Aurora. <laughs> that looks nice. Alright, there we go. Wow, that's actually a really nice view of absolute nothingness. That's great. All right. So that's besides the point now. Okay, so I need to go find me some food. And I know I can find a bunch of that on the island. Because I need to get, um, well, I need water. That's the problem I need right now. And, um, after I'm done doing what I need to do over here real quick. Um, uh, are these the bubble trees? I think. No? No, these are. Okay. I like bubbles. They give you a lot of water. Vital signs stabilizing. There's one more. That's all I need. There we go. That'll hold me off over for now. And now I'm hoping to find some titanium. I think you might be able to find some titanium around here. So after I was done doing all that stuff that I needed to do with the base, my next goal was probably to go get uh, the moon pole from the Mushroom Kingdom and the Cyclops Bridge and Hole Fragments. I still have one more uh, engine fragment that I need to get. But we can worry about that in another episode, because, um, so let's focus one thing at a time. Alright. Um, I really- God dang it, my phone. That's scary. <sighs> I don't see them. I don't think you can find titanium here. No, you can't. Okay. I don't think you really can. So, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go on a titanium run. For now. It is turning nighttime, but that's nothing to worry about. I'll just jump in. Oh, uh, no mesmers. I, I have found a mesmer around here before. And then I don't know how far the ghost of Ithan will travel up to get you, but I know he's right below us somewhere. I just don't know how far he'll go to come get you, though. All right, come on, Seamoth. We gotta go on a titanium room. You know, out of all the things I have found at some point in Subnautica, I've never found a Reaper Leviathan egg. Ever. Now, I do know there is a Ghost Leviathan egg in the Cove Tree in the Lost River. I do know that. But I've never found a Reaper egg. And that, that, that's, that'd be, like, um, majestic. Well, considering that we're on a titanium run, we might as well go try to find... Uh, go to the, or the Mushroom Forest. Hold on. Ah, uh, there we are. Yeah, I don't want to go too far next to the Aurora. Not now, at least. Ah! Is that a moon pool fragment? Yeah, it is. Oh, I have it already. I, I didn't know I had two fragments. Or was it one? I don't know. Alright. Well, while we're here. Well, while we're here, we might as well stock up on some lithium. Let's go ahead and do that. I uh, can't really see that some uh, sea moths light turn away. Hello, whatever this is, power transmitter. You have to find a fragment for that now. I never knew that. God. Oh, dude. Thanks, Shade, for the warning. I appreciate it. Oh, dude, that is like the most. Freakiest thing in this game. What are you doing, Tanaka? What is that? Is that, a, is that another? Yeah, it's a moon pool. Well, might as well use it for the titanium. <sighs> okay. There's a problem with this. Like, right now, I'm being very cautious because I don't know. It's kind of dark out, and I don't want to be staring into a face of a, of a reaper tonight. 
Not right now, at least. Wait, what's... What are... What's... What are you? I don't trust you. Uh... Hello? Hello? I can't see shit. Start. What we're going to do now that I have enough of this titanium, I'm going to go make, back to my base and make me a grow bed real quick. And as long as I'm on the island, I won't have a problem for water. So It's amazing. I just drank water. It's amazing. Oh, hold on. I probably shouldn't even see what I need real quick for the moon pool. I might want to do that. Alright. Titanium ingot times two and two times lead. That's not really hard to do. We'll, we'll do that once we get everything else we need to do first. That way we can focus on the moon pool. Um, I'm not sure on how I'm going to do that though. Because like, I, like we were planning on doing. We're probably going to build a connector going down into the base. Below us. With a ladder. How is that going to work? I don't know. But hopefully I will be able to build a multi-purpose room. Going up from the top of the island. Going down further. Um, I don't know how deep I might... <laughs> As I was saying, I don't know how deep it's going to go yet. Uh, I might make it f going down four multi-purpose rooms from the top. Well, no. Four down and then have the top layer as the fifth level. So, um, I, I'm not sure how that's going to look yet. Uh, my main purpose, though, for the top layer is to have all the power running from there. Whether it be solar panels or bioreactors. Uh, solar panels should be an extra source of power in case, uh, for some reason, the bioreactor doesn't want to work. Um, yeah, and I don't have the second bioreactor running yet, but I, I will get that going. I do know lantern fruits are a good source of that, so and I do have extra lantern fruits on me, so we'll go ahead and use those. That's my brother, Captain. All right, I can, all right, that's full. Um, yeah, let me just use this. There we go. All right, and internal grow bed. Uh, boink. All right, and then we'll have all these grow for now. There we go. Um, okay. So now that we have that all done, um, this base is looking nice so far. I'm proud of it. Um, I could have one more locker. So let's go ahead and put that here. I'm trying to cram them in as much as possible. There we go. And Pixie Raptor. Or, or, or I'll do this. Yeah, that that worked pretty well. Pixie Raptor. Okay. So now that we have that, um, I could make copper wire, but I don't need that right the second. What I need to do is I need to go make two. Seek fluid intake immediately. Thanks, Shatine. I appreciate that. It's great help. All right. So for the moon pool, I need two titanium ingots, two lead. Um, I think I have one lead, if I'm not mistaken. I have one lead. Okay. So real quick, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get some of these bulbul trees, as they are a great source of water. All right, there we go. Cut that down. Vital signs. Save. All right. Save again. Okay. Let me see where we're at though in recording time. Thirty-seven minutes. Okay. Well, that's not nearly enough time to do anything that I wanted to get done. I mean, yeah, we got this done. I mean, that was probably the main point of the video. But now we gotta go get the stuff for the moon pool. And I will need a bunch of titanium. I will need at least tw five metal salvage. That will make 20. <laughs> Lemon Raptor does math. Well, more metal salvage. So I'm glad I stopped. Um, you got anything in you? No. Scanner room fragment? Hell yeah. I'll take more of those for Titan. Oh god, bro. No. 30 seconds. No. Oh god. Where the hell did he come from? Wait, where's my Seamoth? Seamoth. Oh, you're right there. Go, 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 go. God. Oh, okay. I have the propulsion cannon already. Um, okay. Laser cutter. I'll take this for titanium. 
Wait, command chair? What am I gonna do with a command chair? Am I gonna be a commander? Laser cutter, I have a, a lot of these, but I'll take it for the titanium. Come on, let me in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get some oxygen real quick. Let me in, thank you. All right. Propulsion cannon. I have an um how much titanium do I have? I think I might have enough at this point. Um I need lead though. Yeah, alright. I feel like I might have enough titanium at this point, so we're gonna go ahead and get out. Alright. I'm not sure how much lube I needed. I think it was only two or one. But yeah, okay. I only needed one. I have two lead. Okay, I will be able to make the moon pool then right now. Um, but that's going to depend. Oh. Well, I was very capable of doing that. Alright. Let's go ahead and make this. And that. And this. And there we go. Titanium ingot. There it is, boys. Alright, so we got that. We got enough to make the moon pool. Let's make some glass. Alright. There we go. Alright. Now, um, do I have enough to. Okay, yeah, I do. So I will do it like that. And maybe what I'll have happen is I'll put like a glass. Oh, I don't have enough for it. Alright, well, that's besides the point. Okay, and I probably couldn't do it that way anyway. Yeah, I couldn't. Alright. Well, that's a bunch of bull crap. So, uh, crap. So probably what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to build this probably right there. Okay, it won't light up, so I mean, that's pretty gay. But whatever. Oh, uh, bushki. Um, I have very low hole strength. Um, what do I need for a, uh, reinforcement? Three titanium, which is something I don't have. I'm very limited on supplies, guys. Uh. Welcome aboard, Thank you. Alrighty then. We're gonna go ahead and save that. There we go. Without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. Yeah, dude, you can even see the moon pool sticking out. That's actually kind of nice. And then from there, what I'll have it do is I'll probably have um tubes like wrapping around the moon pool. That way, I have like a basic area for my sea moth to get in. I'm gonna make this base pretty big. Okay. So, now that we got that, how's my food doing? All right, it looks like you guys are growing. That's great. Um, wait, do you have any titanium that I need, I can have? Uh, you have one. That's not what I need. Wait, I do have glass. Whoops. And, yeah, okay. All right, now I do need a radio. That way I can answer messages. the planet now we have a landing site for you that's well it's better than the alternatives we've sent you the coordinates it'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit we should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time then we're coming in to get you cross your fingers the weather holds don't leave us waiting the weather won't hold Sunbeam out all right well, that is all I have time for today in this episode of Subnautica. We got a lot of stuff done with the base. Now, in the next episode, I have plans for the Cyclops. I'm going to try to focus on getting that from the Mushroom Forest and getting the last engine fragment. I do need one more of those. And also, I'm going to try to focus on not only getting the Cyclops, but the rest of the modification station from the Mushroom Forest. 
After that, I will head back here and probably hope to get a power cell charger along the way. So, and also, I don't... Yeah, the sunbeam is going to be here as well. So yeah, we have a lot of things coming our way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, remember to search support by clicking that like button. And if you're new to the channel, fight the subscribe button like a champion. But as anyway, I will catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye.